All right, so we're checking out the only game where we can cause countless deaths and pass it off as educational videos on YouTube. It's Universe Sandbox 2. This is Mercury. Mercury sucks. Mercury has a history of sucking, and it has a future of sucking. However, today, we're going to make it cool. Actually, we're going to make everything cool. Because bigger is always better. <laughs> Except in Universe Sandbox, usually being bigger means you're just gonna die a lot faster. Our solar system is home to all of my experiments that generally end up destroying the galaxy. And today I wanna see what happens when we slowly increase the size of every major planet in the solar system. In a somewhat scientific way, I'm kind of curious as to whether or not another planet would become habitable. In a non-scientific way, I'm just curious how big they need to get before they start smashing into one another. I would like to think that at a certain size, all the different planets will start taking each other's spots. And now that I think about it, I said that Mercury was gonna finally get the opportunity to be cool, but really it's, it's just gonna be the first one to get melted by the sun. All right, first things first, we're gonna make everything twice the size and see if Florida man can continue to sexually abuse alligators. An interesting side bonus to this is Australia gets to be even bigger now. And yes, I'm waiting for some comment about how we're making Uranus bigger. I guess if you want to sound even more inappropriate, you could just say Uranus is wider. All right, everything is paused and twice as big. Let's see what happens. Well, I mean, nothing's exploded yet. Mercury's orbit is shifting pretty bad. Okay. Got some fairly bad news about the Earth. While Florida Man is fairly resistant to heat, he does need Natty Ice in order to survive. And unfortunately, Natty Ice has a slight bit of water in it. And there is now no more water on Earth because it's currently 169 degrees Celsius. This is kind of dangerous, but the Earth and Venus already cross each other's orbits. Oh Jesus, the sun is starting to get pulled around too. That ain't good. On a side note, uh, it's 36 degrees Celsius over on Mars. Still negative 74 degrees on Jupiter. Negative 149 degrees over on Saturn. Pluto is, well, Pl Pluto, Pluto always kind of sucks. And everything else is still pretty damn cold. Making Uranus bigger did not really make it any hotter. All right, let's double it up again. This gives you an interesting opportunity in real time to see how the size difference changes when we double everything yet again. Although when compared to the sun, everything else isn't really that impressive when the size changes. Okay, Saturn just changed color. That was kind of cool. It went from looking depressed to looking much more colorful now. So this is interesting. Neptune was usually blue, but now it looks like a smaller Jupiter. Oh, poor Earth. <laughs> it just looks like a slightly larger dead rock. Pluto now at least has the mass of, you know, almost one and a half moons, and it just looks like a diseased testicle now. That's your new name. Enjoy. I love how prominent Pluto's name is. All right, now that everything has been increased yet again, we'll go ahead and start things back up and see how all the orbits change. The Earth is already completely obliterated. Mars isn't really livable either, because it's hot as hell now here. The sun's getting jerked around all kinds of different ways. <laughs> oh, the Earth and Venus get pretty close now and again. Jupiter is a surprising dark horse at 912 degrees Celsius suddenly. Saturn now at 184 degrees Celsius. Disease testicle is still at negative 205. Neptune and Uranus still also insanely cold. These are basically like our last chances for survival at this point because everything else is completely unlivable. I'm actually just curious to see if the sun is going to eat anything or if it's just going to continue getting yoinked all over the place. That's getting jerked around, but it's still pretty stable. I think we may have lost Saturn though. When this sun starts turning blue, that's when bad things are going to start happening, man. Okay, Jupiter just turned into a sun. That's a problem. Oh, crap. Saturn just turned into a slightly bigger sun. Cool, we have three stars now. How about you, Neptune? You want to turn into a friggin' star as well? Nope, Neptune's fine. Uranus getting any brighter? Nope, turning into a Jupiter. Disease testicle? Gonna look any different? Nope. All right, solar system with three stars. Let's do it. Uh, Jupiter is like smashing moons all over the place, man. Get nice and close over here. You can see that all these different entities are trying to take Jupiter's wallet, but it ain't having it. Rap, Uranus got super hot. Neptune is super hot as well now. This East Testicle is still pretty cold, and Saturn may not be coming back. I'm pretty impressed that our original planets are all still here. The sun is really starting to come 
Oh, that sounded bad. The sun is really starting to move all over the solar system at this point. Like, it is flying everywhere, and it is screw- Oh my god, the Earth just started to catch Jupiter. This is interesting. Bye, Earth. At least you're not burning hot anymore. Yeah, the Earth is, uh, you know, now negative 100 degrees Celsius. I don't think it's coming back. Whoa, disease testicle coming way in at negative 32 degrees Celsius. That's- almost livable. Venus has an interesting orbit because it keeps pulsing, getting super hot. So it's having like a seizure. All right, this is amazing. Disease testicle now down at two degrees Celsius. All right, let's double it up again. The size of the sun is going to start getting real ridiculous at this point. Here we go. Uh, uh oh, we're going to we're going to pretend that the sun didn't just randomly disappear. Hey, we got another sun now in Neptune. Another one in Uranus. Earth is still okay. Well, I mean, okay, you know, except for flame-broiled Florida man. All right, here we go. We've got multiple stars at this point within the solar system. The main sun is gone at this point. Yeah, almost all of the solar system just went its own directions. Okay, so all of the planets essentially ended up broiling, but I have an idea. What happens if we leave the sun the same size, but all the planets get doubled in size repeatedly? All right, so everyone right now is doubled except for the sun. The sun is also positionally locked because if it's not, it has a tendency to start, you know, going all over the place like it's on cocaine. Mercury still sucks. The Earth is okay. Mars is still pretty damn cold. Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, detesticled Pluto. Super cold. So nothing changed so far. Obviously, this means everything needs to get doubled again. All right, everything's doubled again. The only change now is that Jupiter is damn near as big as the sun, and Saturn now looks a lot like a slightly more depressed Jupiter. I mean, this is pretty wild. Everything still seems to be okay. Venus is getting cooler. Jupiter, however, reached critical mass, as it often does when it gets a certain size. Saturn also went from pretty cold to freaking hot. Neptune and Uranus still sucks. Pluto still sucks. Earth is starting to get hotter. Jupiter's already like, no, Gray, please shut up. This is for science. All right, there's our two new stars again. Everything's been doubled again. It ain't looking good. I don't know what the hell's going on over here by Jupiter. It's like Jupiter just pissed off the hive, man. All these particles are just slamming into it repeatedly. Saturn, like no one wants to play with Saturn. Sweet Jesus, there goes Mars. And... Venus has become livable, you know, except for everything else about it, but the temperature down to 33 degrees Celsius. Now, don't get me wrong. It does get up to, you know, 200, but for a short time, it cools down a lot. Earth isn't really survivable anymore. The coldest it gets is 39 degrees Celsius. Best be gargling SPF 100. Jupiter actually has a small habitable zone at this point. I kind of want to put an Earth around it and see what ha Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm doing it. All right, Jupiter. Make Earth proud. There's an Earth surrounding Jupiter right now. What's it like to live on this Earth? It's not too bad. <laughs> Negative 15 degrees Celsius, but who knows? Maybe if we double Jupiter again, it'll get better. Actually, I might as well put another Earth around Saturn. We got this extra star laying around. Oh, Neptune is also almost 300 degrees Celsius, by the way. This is kind of interesting because we've created a solar system orbiting a solar system. All right, got to jack up Jupiter. Neptune becomes a star. Uranus becomes a star. OG Earth. I'm actually going to keep the secondary Earths the same size because I want to see if we can get these livable. I mean, if you live in Florida, you're fine on this Earth. Also, if you live in Australia. I don't know why. For some, for some reason, Australia is always fine. It doesn't matter what environment I put Earth in. Australia is always fine. All right, here we go. Come on, baby. I hope it treats our Earth over here decently. Venus is even colder now. Topping out at, like, 60 degrees Celsius. I mean, it gets down to, like, negative 100 degrees Celsius, so that's pretty bad. Secondary Earth looking at about negative eh, 17 or so. Negative 50 over here around Saturn. Since we have a new star in Uranus, we might as well give them an Earth. Here we go. Let's see how the Uranal Earth does. Oh, crap. Venus is starting to get freaking carjacked by Jupiter. Bet you never saw that coming, did you, son? You never thought that Venus would cheat on you with Jupiter. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is starting to get kind of crazy because Jupiter is starting to get closer and closer to the sun. So Earth doesn't know what the hell to do at this point. 
Hold on, I gotta rename the Earth so that we know who the hell we're talking about. We got OG Earth over here, and we have Depressed Middle Child Earth. Less Depressed Older Brother to the Middle Child Earth. Then we have the youngest Earth over here. The youngest Earth always gets whatever it wants. I'm just gonna call this Starbucks Earth. All right, so that as it is, Jupiter is now straight up just bigger than the sun. Well, OG Earth just became a sun, as did Venus. Mercury's still Mercury. Hold on, this is weird, but I wanna have Earth orbiting star Earth. Now we're getting meta, baby. It, it sucks to live on this Earth though, by the way. It's, it's really hot. <laughs> Less depressed bro older brother middle child Earth negative 71. Depressed middle child Earth starting to lose its orbit and come into the main sun's orbit. Starbucks Earth, um, negative 46. We may actually get a habitable Earth over there. I'm like the Oprah of planets at this point. Neptune, you get an Earth. Venus, you get an Earth. Okay, Mercury has completely flip-flopped its orbit. So one of our new Earths got screwed up. It's gone. What the hell is flying around the sun? What is that? What is, what is, what is this? What is this right here? Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, right now Venus Earth is kind of looking like our best prospect because we kind of ended up screwing everything else up. All right, Jupiter, make me proud. Crap, we just lost another planet. Mercury just became a gas giant somehow. So right now, all of these extra Earths are still pretty cold, but look at this. One of them is starting to come into a habitable area. It's Venus Earth. This is wild. So, Jupiter is circling the sun, and it has its own habitable zone. Saturn is circling the sun with its own habitable zone. They've both lost their Earths. All right, Jupiter, listen, I'm going to give you another Earth. I swear to God, don't misplace this one, please. All right, another Earth, because Saturn just got the boot. <laughs> Jupiter. I know Earth called you a whore. Please don't kill the Earth. Look at this. Starbucks Earth. It's it's starting to thaw. It's turning from an iced latte into a regular one. Okay, now it's now it's kind of starting to get too hot. Now the, the oceans are starting to boil. <laughs> yeah, burn to death. We do have a Jupiter over here though. So if I increase this Jupiter in size, this Earth, which is pretty cold, may warm up enough to be livable. Okay, it's still too cold. That's fine though. More Jupiter. Crap. Jupiter just ate the Earth. What's weird is the Earth that's doing the best right now is flying around Neptune. So I made Neptune a crappy star, and for a short time, we could live. It's only for a few days, but it does get down to about negative 25 degrees Celsius. If I increase this to like there, it's, it's still pretty awful because it gets down to negative 39, and then it jumps up to 75 degrees Celsius. What do you know though, Australia's fine. Yep, I guess I'll unlock the sun at this point and see what happens. It's not gonna be anything friggin' good. The sun may end up getting eaten by Jupiter. Never mind. the sun and Jupiter have maintained harmony. And thus, after all that, we're left with one single Earth that may be habitable. Starbucks Earth, of course, that would be the Earth. <laughs> there is not a single time, also, where Pluto did not suck. It's very enlightening. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox 2, where we found out that Starbucks is the only way to survive. Till next time, stay foxy, much love. <laughs>